our journey to diagnosis <coughs> began uh, six years ago when uh, my wife Sophia, after a stroke, uh, she got diagnosed with uh, homocystinuria. Until then, until the age of 30, uh, although she had some symptoms, uh, she was not she was not diagnosed. After uh, after a severe stroke on April 2010, uh, the doctors at the hospital got curious about why a young lady of 30 years old with no other uh, medical problems uh, got a stroke. Uh, they conducted uh, our uh, doctor, Mrs. Uh, Savapoulou, and uh, we got the, the diagnosis. Uh, our day-to-day -day experience uh, with HCU, at first, uh, everything was, uh, everything seemed difficult. Uh, we didn't know much, so we were constantly learning, and we are still learning. Uh, we had to adapt to the diet. But after two or three months, uh, when we got used to the fact that we are going to uh, follow this diet and uh, the, the, take the, the medicines, uh, it has not been a great challenge. The HCU itself, it, it was most difficult to deal with uh, uh, the stroke and what followed uh, rather than HCU. But of course we have to be careful about the diet, what she eats, where, where we have always in mind the HCU, it can go. Uh, the biggest problem is uh, in, we are facing, and the, the main challenge is that in Greece, where we come from, uh, the medical care system uh, does not uh, take into account people with uh, um, inherent metabolic diseases and HCU. We, we have many problems regarding uh, finding doctors, uh, getting the medicines without paperwork and uh, procedures that take a long time uh, this is the main th this is the main challenge we are facing our single greatest hope for the future is uh, finding a cure i think uh, even even not for sophia but uh, the hope that uh, the babies that will be born can be safe